Wait till you try this amazing tres leches cake. Soft like a pillow, soaked in a delicious combination of three milks. Hi, and you're watching Plating It With Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you enjoy trying out recipes that turn out right every time, you're at the right place. So go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll be the first to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. Let's start by prepping our baking dish. And I'm using a glass baking dish because that's what works best. And it's a nine by 13 baking dish. And we're going to brush on some butter to it. I'm just gonna brush some on, on the sides as well. I'm gonna give it just a gentle dusting of cake flour on the top. For this recipe, we're gonna be using five eggs. I'm gonna start by separating the egg whites from the egg yolks. Make sure that the bowl in which you're putting the egg whites is clean and there's no grease in it because we are gonna be beating it up to stiff peaks. And we're gonna drop the egg yolks into another bowl. And that's the last egg. We're gonna keep our egg whites aside and to the egg yolks, I've got one cup of sugar in this bowl and I'm gonna add just three fourth cup of the sugar to it. And we're gonna keep the quarter cup for later. We're gonna go with our mix on a low to high speed, mixing the egg yolks with the sugar till it turns light and pale and we incorporate some air into it. We want the volume of the eggs to increase. It's been about two minutes since I've been mixing the egg yolks with the sugar and I'm happy with how pale it has turned and it's also increased in volume. So I'm gonna keep it aside and we're gonna carry on with the next ingredient. To the cake, we're gonna be adding one cup of milk, which is at room temperature. And to that, we're gonna add two tablespoons of pure vanilla extract. And that's gonna give the cake a lovely flavor. Now let's just give that a quick whisk. And we're gonna keep that aside too. And now in another bowl, we're going to mix our dry ingredients. We're gonna to sift together one and a half cup of cake flour. And if you don't have cake flour, you could always use all purpose flour. But cake flour, because of the low gluten in it, it tends to make the cake a little bit more light. And now to that, we're gonna add one and a half teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt. And let's sift that all together. See, this helps to incorporate a lot of air in the cake and it gives you a lighter cake. At the same time, if there are any lumps in the flour, this is the chance you get to break them down so that you get a smooth batter. See that? Okay, let's keep this aside and bring our egg yolks back. Now to the egg yolk, we're gonna start incorporating the dry and the wet ingredients, alternating between the two, beginning and ending with the dry. So we're gonna have three additions of the dry. We're gonna keep our mixer on very low, on stir. And now when the dry ingredients is just about incorporated, we're gonna add half of the wet. We're going to add in some more of the dry. And when the dry is just about incorporated, we're going to add in the remaining of the wet ingredients. And now let's add in the rest of the dry ingredients. I'm going to scrape down the sides and we're going to go down to the bottom too to make sure that all the dry ingredients that is stuck on the bowl is well incorporated in the batter. Okay, let's give that a final mix. And once you cannot see any of the dry ingredients, you can stop the mixer and leave it aside. And now let's get back to our egg whites. And we're gonna beat this up till we get stiff peaks. And once you've broken into the egg whites and it has turned a little foamy, it's time to add in the remaining quarter cup of sugar that we had left behind earlier. And now back on our way to beating the egg whites to a stiff peak. And that's what you're looking for. Now to be able to incorporate the egg whites smoothly into our batter, we're first gonna take a little bit of the batter and mix it into the egg whites. And now using the cut and fold method, we're gonna incorporate it along with the egg whites without deflating the egg whites. This is gonna to help to loosen it up just a little bit, which makes it easier to mix it in with the batter. 
Now that's looking beautiful. So now let's take it and mix it with the batter. And now we're going to put it into the batter. And once again, using the cut and fold method, we're going to incorporate the two together till we get a smooth batter. Be very gentle. We don't want to deflate all that air that we've incorporated. And once you don't see any of the white streaks of the egg white, you know it's well mixed. So you can stop and then put it into your baking tray. And now that our cake batter is ready, let's bring back our baking dish that we had prepped earlier and pour in the batter. And once you have all the batter in, you can even it out with the spatula if you need to. And here's what you've got to do before you pop it into the oven. Give it a few taps so that all the air bubbles come to the surface. Now let's pop this into our preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius and we're going to bake it for approximately 30 minutes until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. And now we're going to allow the cake to cool for about 30 to 45 minutes and while the cake is cooling let's mix together the three milks and that's from where this cake gets its name. And for that we're going to go in with one can of sweetened condensed milk which is approximately 300 ml and to that we're going to add one can of evaporated milk and that's about 350 ml. And for the third one, we're going to go in with half a cup of heavy cream, or you could add milk if you like. And for a little extra flavor, we're going to go in with one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Let's give that a mix and blend it all together. Can you imagine all the deliciousness that's going to come out of this? Wow, this cake is my favorite. Now this is looking good. So let's pour it over the cake. So now that the cake has cooled, we're going to go in with a fork and start piercing holes into it. And this is going to help the milk mixture evenly soak into the cake. If you prefer, you could also go in with a bamboo skewer and start piercing in holes. It just makes a little more work, but sometimes it helps. Try and get as many holes as you can towards the edge because you want it to absorb all the milk over there too. And don't worry about all these holes. It's going to get covered up once you put the whipped cream on the top. Wow, look at that. I'm going to start ladling it on. Must go from the sides to the center. Okay, now we're going to cover this up and place it in the refrigerator for about five to six hours so that the cake gets a chance to absorb the delicious milks and it also chills up. Of course, if you leave it to soak overnight, that's going to be the best. For the whipped cream topping, we're going to go in with two cups of whipping cream. And to sweeten it up, we're going to add a quarter cup of icing sugar or confectioner sugar. And we're going to sift it so that we don't get any lumps of the icing sugar in our topping. And for a hint of flavor, we're going to add half a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Now let's whip this together till we get stiff peaks. Now this is looking perfect. We've got some nice stiff peaks to it. The cake has absorbed the milk mixture very well. So now let's stop it with the whipped cream. I'm just going to put a little dollop in here. Another one there. Another one there. We're going to smoothen it out after we have put the cream down. So now let's take an offset spatula and start spreading it out. We're going to try to get an even layer on the top. I'm making this cake for my kids' birthdays and I'm sure they're going to love it. Now if you wanted, you could just keep a rustic look to it or level it out, whichever you like. I think that's looking great. It's strawberry season out here, so I'm going to decorate the cake with strawberries on the top. But you could decorate it with any berries or any fruits that you like. Now for that authentic look, we're going to dust a little bit of cinnamon on the top. Just a light dusting of it. So we're going to place them. Oh my goodness! Look at that! And I always like to serve it with a little bit extra of the three milks. 
And now it's time to give the Cress Electric Cake a taste. And I'm excited. I'm very fond of it and my entire family is. Wow. Mmm. I can't stop. Mm. Wow, this cake is delicious. I love the way the cake has come out so spongy and it absorbed all that milk and the light cream that we put on the top really adds to the delicate flavor of this cake. I hope you give this cake a try because I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.